What's up guys, I have another movie review for you, and as you can see, we're sort of getting a different uh, video. Um, this video is going to be basically me talking talking over a bunch of pictures. Uh, so yeah, uh, my camera's broken, which is really sucky, so I can't record gameplay anymore. Um, so we're going to have to deal with this. Uh, but... I don't know, you get to see a few more pictures than I've originally been, you know, showing you guys. So, yeah, and as you can see, we're reviewing Your Night, so let's get into it. This movie is about a family reunion hosted by a mother and father who's wanting to get their kids and their some of their friends together to catch up on what's been going on. Because I think they just moved into a house. And, um, yeah, so here is a picture of the family reunion right here. Um, we see all the, the fathers at the end and the mothers at the other end and brother and sister. And here are the mom and dad right there. So yeah, like I was saying, everything's all happy. You know, we're all catching up on what's been going on in our lives. And then, um, we soon discover that someone... Or a bunch of people are trying to kill this family, and we're sort of getting no reason of why they want this family dead. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's basically the movie. Um, here, here are the uh, three killers right there. We get a wolf and a, a lamb, and I don't know what that one is in the middle. But the, as you can see, the wolf is to the side, and so is the lamb. I still don't know what that thing is in the middle. I think it's a fox. I don't know. But yeah, um, where you those three killers right there um, are sort of our bad guys that we're sort of wanting to die. Um, and like I said, we don't really get any reason for the uh, killings. They're just doing it. Um, which, if you want reason behind this all of this, then you're probably not going to be getting it, um, I don't know, I, I didn't, if there was reason behind all of it, I didn't catch it, but, um, I'm pretty sure there is no reason, there is a bit of a twist, and, uh, in this movie, um, as you can see, these two right here, uh, the guy that's being hugged is sort of, um, in on the killings, he's sort of the ones demanding, his family get killed, the mom and dad, and the girl right there is sort of just there to be there, like, just play, you know, be in on it as well, and as you can see back there, you're next, all written in blood, uh, this is a pretty gruesome scene, but, uh, yeah, so these two are in on all the killings, and, um, we soon discover that later on in the movie, um, <clears throat> So yeah, I, you could tell they're really trying to surprise you, um, by this twist, by the uh, the two, the two couples, uh, sort of trying to play innocent. Um, but then all along, I sort of saw this thing coming. Like the brother, the guy that we saw that was being hugged, he was sort of acting suspicious the whole time these murders were happening. Like, um, here's a quick spoiler, but. There's this one scene where one of the killers breaks in and uh, she has a, um, the killer breaks in and I think he like gets stabbed in the back of the neck and he like runs out. No, he doesn't get, he gets his head smashed by uh, this one main character. Her picture is coming up really quick. So yeah, he gets his head smashed in. Um, he as soon as he breaks in, yeah, he gets his head smashed in, and the uh, couple were just watching. Like when he was going for her, they're just like standing aside watching, like they wanted her to die, which was got me thinking maybe they are a part of the killings, and um, cause I know that no one would really stand there, even if they were scared, they would at least run, but um. And, uh, here is the girl that breaks the guy's head. I don't know her name, and I feel not very nice not knowing her name. Because 
I really liked her character. Uh, she's sort of our hero, our Superman, I guess. And, um, yeah, I mean, she's the hero of this movie. The one that keeps this movie going even when it gets dull. She's the one that sort of just, I don't know, she gets this, I don't know. I mean, you're rooting for her the whole time um, when she kills one of the killers. Um, and she she doesn't do it very nice. Um, she's a, I don't know, she, it's a, when she kills the killers, it's really brutal. And she makes it like the worst way possible. The worst way and like the good way. Like, the worst possible death that you can ever imagine, she actually does it to the killers. Um, yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thumbs up to you. I, I don't know your name. But, yeah, so, uh, yeah, she's our Superman, sort of. And, um, in the end, all the killers end up dying. Um... But it, it wasn't, like, rushed. And I know I complain about horror movies, slasher movies, being rushed a lot. But, um, this one wasn't, surprisingly. This one took time for, uh, deaths to happen. Um, like, towards the end, even, like, towards the ending, this thing was not rushed. So, I really like that. I really appreciate movies that aren't being rushed, like, wanting movies to end. Um, you know, I really appreciate that. Um, so, I mean, movies like that are hard to come by, so, another thumbs up for that. Let's get the ratings, because we're almost out of time here. Um, it's gonna be a 9 out of 10. So, yeah, definitely go check this movie out. I covered everything I wanted to. Um, so, yeah, um, check it out, and I will see you guys next time when I do my next video.